got into some serious trouble with the law. Now, he was not arrested. We want to correct any misinformation out there. Puff was not arrested today, but what he did witness was two of his homes raided. Earlier today, the feds showed up at two homes of Sean Combs. And when they showed up, as you can see here, they, uh, well, as, I'll show, as I'm about to show you, you can see the you can see the feds here showing up to his home. Uh, they were looking for something. When the feds go through two of your homes at the same time, they're looking for something. And I'm going to tell you exactly what they what those things were because earlier in the day it was a mystery. People were unsure about what was happening, but I'm going to tell you exactly uh, what happened. They raided two homes: a home in Los Angeles, his mansion in West uh, Los Angeles, in the Homeby Hills uh, neighborhood. And they also raided his Miami residence. Now, Puff or Diddy was in Florida at the time of the raid in Florida. So um, it's not surprising uh, that we got a little more insight into his whereabouts and what was going on because he was there but in la what we saw at the time of the raid and this raid was supported by homeland security this wasn't just a a, a fly by night thing by local police and this is the thing that i need y'all to understand this is a big deal this is the feds um they are closing in on on puffy whether he did it didn't do it whatever you believe it doesn't matter they are closing in on him now how that gets dealt with it matters but let's be very clear. They are closing in on him. And what I mean by that is the feds have built a case. I want you all to understand something when it comes to the feds, when it comes to the federal government. The federal government builds a case. They build a, slow, a case slowly. They build a case carefully. Once they build that slow and careful case, they then create um something that you probably can't beat and then they present it to you and ask you to plead because you don't want to rumble the feds in court most people don't now some people do and some people are victorious look at don king you know but you have to be rich and resourceful and fearless you got to have a whole bunch of people who are going to go down with you if you fail so this is all part of this is all part of the arrangement this is all part of the setup that the federal government um, has created uh, for Sean Combs. And so I, I want y'all to understand that just so you have um, some context here as we talk about um, as we talk about Diddy. But the question here is why? Why are they doing it now? Why are they closing in on him now? What does it mean to close in on him? Well, just to be clear, Homeland Security led this search. Homeland Security, when I say the feds, it's the federal government, but it's also Homeland Security. It ain't the FBI, the CIA, but it's Homeland Security. They're looking for something. And the fact that they uh, handcuffed his two sons doesn't mean that they got arrested, doesn't mean they got charged, doesn't mean they're going to get convicted. I don't know if they're innocent or guilty. I don't know what their level of involvement is in the case. I don't even know um, if they'll be involved in the case. But I guarantee you there will be a case. I 100% guarantee you that there will be a case. And if Homeland Security is involved, the first thing I said was, and I was proven correct, the first thing I said was if Homeland Security is involved, this ain't nothing small. This isn't a single crime. You know, he's not accused of, of, of having illegal gambling or dog fighting or, um, or a little bit of cocaine. Like, this, you know, it's LA, it's Miami. No one cares about cocaine. No one cares about illegal gambling in the house, right? Um, whether they should or they shouldn't, that's up to y'all to, to make your decisions about Marley. But I'm saying they don't. But you know what they do care about? They care about stuff that goes across state lines. That's what they care about. They care about uh, drug trafficking. They care about, um, what else do they care about? They care about um, sex trafficking. They care about weapons and narcotic trafficking. Now you might say, why are you throwing out these hypotheticals? Why are you why are you throwing out these things? Why are you casting um, aspersions on Diddy? I'm not. 
I'm telling you what is happening right now. Look at the feds in front of Diddy's house for context. Look at the feds in front of Diddy's house right now. Today, not right this moment, but today. They got paramilitary vehicles. Look at the weapons they got. Look, look at what they have to raid the home of a rapper to raid the home of a producer, to raid the home of an executive, to raid the home of a mogul. If that's what they got going in, I promise you this is not a small thing. They are not here to play. They are not here for games. They are here because they are worried about what's in that house. And one of the things, according to my sources, that they're looking for is weapons. They went and they raided the two homes looking for his, um, looking for all kinds of evidence. One of the things they're looking for is his cell phones. Whatever they think is in those cell phones is important to them. Um, they are interested in that. But primarily what they're interested in, in connection to that, is evidence of a federal, excuse me, of a sex trafficking um, operation. This is an investigation into federal sex trafficking. That's according to multiple sources, including someone that I spoke to close to the situation. Again, I'm not saying anybody's innocent. I'm not saying anybody's guilty. What I'm telling you is the feds are closing in. And Homeland Security was absolutely about that action today. They had helicopters. They had agents. You see right here, uh, these people, right? You got neighbors yelling out. We'll talk about that brother in a minute because that was wild. Um, but you got all of this happening at Diddy's house. Some of y'all are like, yeah, I would have thought that to be a Suge Knight's house, right? I would have thought that to be, you know, at a gangster's house. I would have thought that to be at a mob boss's house. Nah, fam, this is a Diddy's house. The feds see him differently than y'all see him or than y'all used to see him. Again, I'm not saying the brother's guilty. I'm not saying the brother's innocent. I'm saying right now it looks crazy and the feds are closing in. The feds are closing in. I, I, I can't say that enough. Um, and the reason I'm saying that, I'm going to show you this image, by the way, that came from um, TMZ. And TMZ has been Johnny on the spot on this, that TMZ has been absolutely accurate in its reporting so far. And this comes from TMZ's this image that I'm showing you right now. They show uh, Christian or King Combs. They show Justin Combs, uh, both of them um, in handcuffs. Now, I don't know if they were handcuffed and, and, and simply being detained um, because they're doing an investigation. They want to make sure that they didn't tamper with evidence or if there's something else going on. But either way, when they got you and your kids in handcuffs in one home and you in Miami in another home, it again, it doesn't look good. Now, again, Puff was in Miami at the time of the raid. His plane had traveled from Sacramento to go into um it had, been, it had been in a few places in the last 48 hours. But he he was at the airport. He was at the Miami Opelika airport when this happened. He wasn't there to go to Cinnabon. He wasn't looking for Sunglass Hut. This is Miami Opelika airport. The Miami Opelika airport is um, an executive airport. It is an executive airport. Um, it deals with private jets. That's what it's there for. Um, it ain't there for Spirit. It ain't there for US Air. It ain't there for United. It's there for private jets. And Diddy had a private jet that eventually made it to the Caribbean and made it to uh, Barbuda or Antigua Barbuda, right? Um, what it looks like, again, I can't say what it is, but what it looked like is the brother was trying to get out of town and they caught him before he could leave. Now, again, I don't know if that's what was happening, but that's what the optics look like. Why are the optics important? The optics are important 
Because if Puff is looking like he's skipping the country and there's a federal sex trafficking investigation going on, then he's going to look like he has something to hide. But more importantly, he's going to look like a flight risk, which means they're going to take his passport. They're going to ask for millions of dollars uh, in bail. Um, and millions ain't really enough for somebody with a billion dollars. Now, again, I'm not advocating that he gets a higher bail. You know, what's the point of bail? Do I even believe in cash bail? I say no. But I'm telling you how it's going to play out. Um, and they're on his ass. According to several sources, not my sources now, but other sources, there have been um, four Jane Doe's and one John Doe. That's five people whose names have not been said yet, but four Jane Doe's, four Jane Doe's and one John Doe who have already uh, been interviewed by the Southern District of New York. Now, they were interviewed for a very specific probe. They were investigated for a very specific probe. What is the probe? The probe that they were investigated for, that they were being investigated for, the, the probe that, that caused them to be there. The reason why they sat with the Southern District of New York was because there was a very clear investigation into Diddy, into what's going on. Is he the only person in the probe? That we don't know yet. But I can tell you what the probe was about. <coughs> Excuse me. I can tell you what the probe was about. <coughs> the probe was about sex trafficking. The probe was about racketeering. The probe was about domestic violence. And they are going in in their investigation into him. So when you have Homeland Security Investigations, New York, right, who had law with, you know, I'm going to read what the Homeland Investigations, Homeland Security Investigations spokesperson said. They issued a statement and they said earlier today, Homeland Security Investigations, New York, executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. We will provide further information as it becomes available. So that's the story, All right? Um, we got sex trafficking, we got sexual assault, we got the solicitation and distribution of illegal narcotics, and we have firearms. All of these things are being investigated again. Doesn't mean they're all true. Doesn't mean he's guilty of anything. But I can tell you, when the feds show up, and the feds show up looking like this, with uh, protective gear, they think there's weapons in there. Angel of Redemption said it right. They pulled up like they was looking for Tony Montana, and that's what they expected. Now, do they did they really think there's gonna be a big shootout at the house? No. But if you think that there's cocaine or excuse me, when you think there's narcotics, when you think there's weapons, when you think there's a, 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 a maybe even a Rico type operation going on, you show up like that. Again, I'm not justifying it. What I'm telling you is when they show up like that, it's because they're either legitimately scared or they're making a case. It's part of the, the case they're building in the public's mind that you've done something so dangerous or that you are so dangerous that that you warrant this type of treatment. This, this is, this is what's happening. This is the story that they're telling. This is the story that they want the world to see. This is the story they want the world to know because the feds are doing what? They're building a case, but the feds case ain't in the public opinion court. The feds case is in the real court. Now, again, Puff is as rich as anybody. He's as well resourced as anybody. I don't doubt that he can fight this. I don't doubt that he could probably beat this under the right circumstances. But I'm trying to tell you, the feds have a 99% success rate for a reason. The feds don't play and the feds don't lose a whole lot. So whatever is going on, whatever is happening, let's be very clear that this is not a good situation for Puff. The feds are closing in. And they've been doing so ever since the Cassie um, um, lawsuit was filed. I'm not saying Cassie's the reason Diddy's going to jail, potentially. I'm saying that the timing is connected. 
In fact, Cassie's uh, lawyer, uh, Douglas Wigder, um, he also represents another accuser of Puff, uh, Jane Doe, right now, said, we will always support law enforcement when it seeks to prosecute those that have violated the law. Hopefully, this is the beginning of a process that will hold Mr. Combs responsible for his depraved conduct. Ooh, that's nasty work right there. Cassie signed an agreement. She signed a settlement. You know, their, their legal battle is over. But you got to ask yourself, you got to wonder kind of wonder did did he do the right thing by holding out cassie sued him he said no to the amount she went super public a whole bunch of allegations came out that 35 page document came out and it's been it's been a nightmare for puff ever since people have come forward more lawsuits have come forward more allegations have come forward now people were always you know saying things and doing things and i'm sure he's been sued a gajillion times as all rich and famous people have been but what i'll tell you that's different is once her allegations came out they were so credible and they created such a they created such a buzz that it certainly emboldened other people to also come forward that was not in his best interests he only he only battled the lawsuit for 48 hours, but that was a long 48 hours. And it set uh, uh, some things in motion. Now, some people have accused Cassie of, of notifying the feds or, or tipping them off to the feds. I don't know. I have no idea what Cassie did or didn't do. But what I can tell you is if Puff doesn't fight that lawsuit, he may be in a different situation right now. But the feds are closing in. The feds are closing in and many of the things that he's now being investigated for the human trafficking, the words human trafficking, the words sexual assault. These are words that were that were in Cassie's lawsuit. So there's some parallels there. Again, I'm not saying and even if Cassie did say something, I'm not saying Cassie did anything wrong. Cassie was the person who was harmed here. Cassie was the person who was aggrieved here. I'm not. You know, I'm riding with Cassie on, on you know, to, to the extent that, you know, whatever happened to her, she has a right to seek justice for. Him. I'm just saying. This is a bad look and he has a lot of enemies. And, you know, when you have a lot of enemies and you're a powerful person, people sometimes won't step up. But once you look defeatable, once you look beatable. They all pop out because they've been afraid not to before, but they're not afraid anymore. They're not afraid anymore. And now that they see the feds are watching, that also emboldens people because now when the feds are watching, people feel safer. You know, if you, you know, you hear him blowing up Kid Cudi's car allegedly, that scares the shit out of you. When you go when the feds are watching, you feel like you might be able to have some redress. You feel like you may be able to do something. This is them in front of his Miami crib. By the way, that Miami crib is fly as hell. But look at this. They roll it up. They come in and they, and they coming out with stuff. Right here is a picture of the feds carrying bags out of his Miami crib. They're looking for stuff. They're looking for evidence of trafficking. They're looking for evidence of drugs. They're looking for all kinds of stuff. They don't care about his sexuality. I know on social media, that's all everybody's talking about. They're not talking about the assault. They're not talking about the trafficking. They're not talking about the narcotics. They're not talking about weapons. None of those allegations they're talking about. They're simply talking about the freak-offs. So much of the information, much of the language, much even the, the, the trending topics are things like they call him the diddler. You know, I see no diddy trending. All of that stuff is happening. But while y'all are worried about sexual uh, identity and sexual desire and, 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 and sex acts, the feds is on his ass for allegedly trafficking minors for allegedly trafficking minors. Again, I'm not saying it's true. I'm not saying it's not true. I'm saying that he's being accused of it and they are closing in. So we're gonna keep watching this. We're gonna keep following it. We're gonna find out what's going on. But the reason why it's happening now, just to make sure y'all got the final answer to this so y'all don't feel like I did y'all with a clickbait joint. The reason why it's happening now 
is because the Jane Doe's, the four Jane Doe's and the one John Doe have come forward. The reason why it's happening now is because the feds have built a case. The reason why it's happening now is, pe is because people feel uh, empowered and, and courageous and safe um, to come forward. The reason why it's happening now is because the feds feel confident that they can prosecute. It hasn't happened yet, but I promise you it will. And Diddy being in a private airport in Miami, Opelika, and looking like he's trying to escape the country, Russell Simmons style, that ain't helping. That ain't helping. That is not helping. So, family, we will cover this. We will watch this. We will keep you posted on every detail that pops up. In the meantime, hit the like button uh, to make sure you let everybody know that you feel in this video. It lets the algorithms know so we can spread the content far and wide. Hit the subscribe button so you can get regular updates on all the content we put out here on the channel. If you're so inclined, hit the join button uh, so you can become a monthly member of the channel. If you've been thinking about it, now's the time to do it. And of course, if you're so inclined but don't want to uh, support you know, all the all the cuts and stuff that YouTube takes out, just go to Cash App. Go to Cash App and drop something in MLHTV, dollar sign MLHTV. If you just drop $2 in, just $2 will cover the cost of all of our production, all of our videos, all our editing for the day. Just if everybody who's watching right now drops $2 in our coffers, we will be good. But in the meantime, y'all, stay safe. Love you. Peace.